setting up this old Bitcoin miner, the EBAZ4205, to program with Vivado isn't as hard as it seems. I mean, especially for the price. There's a lot of documentation already on this, but I didn't see a lot of videos on this topic. So might as well make one, right? First thing you want to do is you want to change the resistors over here. You get the board originally with the resistor on the bottom and you want to put it onto the top to put it into SD mode. If there is no SD card inserted, it automatically tries to use JTAG. So it's a two in one really. If you want to use a SD card, put in an SD card. If not, use a JTAG. No diode comes. You can either put in a diode to use the ATX, I believe, connector. As for programming it, for the price, you really don't want to be spending the same amount for the actual development board as for the programmer, right? You can make a really simple PyPico. I know you can't tell, but in there's a PyPico. And I just, you know, made a real awful programmer. It works, and that's all that matters. The thing was real cheap. It was like, what, two pounds for the Pico? And everything else I had laying around. Firmware for programming this and the program you run on the computer is in the description. As for any other relevant stuff. So first thing you want to do is power up the board. If you are not planning to use the ATX connector right over here. Don't want to solder this. You can power it from this first pin right over here. So I will do that right now. And for ground, I'm using the ATX ground because you can use that. I have a power supply on the right, so I will connect it right now. And as you can notice, LED lights up. Nothing else happens though, right? So here's where you use the programmer. Just before that, I'll give a quick demonstration on how to program this. Here you have the PyPico. There's the boot button somewhere over here. You want to hold boot. You want to plug in. And from this GitHub repo, you want to upload this file right here, which will be in firmware. And right here at the bottom, you just want to click here, download the raw file, drag and drop it into the the USB drive that appears. As for wiring up the PyPico to the actual board, here are the pinouts. You see TDI goes to GP16 on the PyPico and you can see where it goes to. And TDI, if you go a bit behind, you'll see is the third pin from the top. And you can just follow that to make yourself a little programmer. Note that VCC is 3.3 volts. Great note that we have everything set up. We want to plug in the programmer. You want to plug it into the board. And for some reason I tried to, but you can't program it unless you have 12 volts running here. So I will currently power up the board also with 12 volts and it is now powered. You also need a server running on your computer to communicate with Vivado. And to do that, you straight up go over here, for Linux, you want to install all these dependencies right here. And then this is what you run when you want to actually use it. So just make yourself a shortcut file to this place. And if you're using Windows, then you can get it from builds, which is straight up right here. Download that and run the exe. You make sure to run the server. Once we're in Vivado and you make yourself a simple sketch, here's what I've got over here. Um, F19 is this last pin over here. And W14 is the LED on the bottom. Once you connect it up, that's here, you need to click on uh, connect, which will show up over here. Auto connect. Then once localhost shows, you want to right click on it, add Xilinx virtual cable. You want to type in your IP of your local computer, leave the port as is, press OK, and then it will connect. It will only show this right here if it is only connected to the Pico. Once it actually connects to the board, you will see this open up. And once you're ready, you literally just press program device. 
select it, program, and it's programming. And there we go, it's programmed. We don't notice anything happening until I touch the actual pin. What it is actually meant to do is when it touches high, it goes low, when it goes low, it goes high. So here I'm touching against five free volts and it goes low. When I touch it against ground, it lights up as bright as possible. And if you thought that was a not gate, you're correct. So it's meant to do simple sketch. I'm not going to show you how to program properly. This is just how to use this board right here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.